Ho ho ho! It's time of the year again, and in this video, I'm going to show you what Father Christmas has got to treat himself for all the hard work delivering presents for all of you children this year. Look, look, I've got a new camera. And what is this? This is the Olympus Pen EP7. Well, so I can take some cool snaps while I'm delivering. And this cool looking camera is small and light, which is good when my sleigh is fully loaded. And also it has a flippy screen so I can take some lovely selfie. Yeah, while I'm eating your Christmas pies. Nice. But I can't just have the camera without any lenses. So Mother Christmas has given me some spare cash so I can get two lenses. And first is this one here. Uh, this is, well, apparently a lens that's sold out everywhere. But you know Father Christmas know a few people. So I can pull some string and got this. No problemo. I love this little 20mm lens. It has a fast 1.4 aperture so I can capture stuff at night. But more importantly, this is freeze proof so I can use it in the cold. You know how cold where I live, right? My second lens is these tiny little fish eyes from Mickey, Mikey, Mickey. I don't know, but it looks cool. It gives me a full circular image that looks like a bubble. How fitting is this for this time of the year? <laughs> and the best thing is that it makes me look 20 kilogram lighter and I can fit all my reindeers and friends in my selfie too. Ah, yes, look, look, I also got this, the BenQ Death Lamb. It is a very good looking accessory for anyone who needs to see in the dark. Well, it emits some very soft light, uh, which you can adjust both the intensity and temperature. Good if you want to use it as a filming key light, which Jimmy did for a few videos before. There's also an automatic feature that adjusts everything by itself with that clever computer thing that inside this little thing here, which I have no idea. But best of all, it built like a very expensive designer lamp too. But of course, without the price tag. Oh, it's a great functional light that doubles up as a nice furniture piece. Now, my expensive present from Mother Christmas and the new flying camera, the Mavic 3. It uses the same sensor as my new EP7 camera, but it flies. The best thing is it can follow me when I'm jumping from roof to roof. And it has an incredible 40 minutes flight time and I can even top up the charge when I'm moving from location to location using the USB port in my sleigh. How good is that? First is my new walking stick that can double up as a camera monopod. And it's from Manfrotto, it's called the Element Mark II and it's made in Italy. Well, it's light and it's compact and it works and pretty well too. Then I have this little nipple light. Yeah, from Joby. I showed you last Christmas and I'm showing you again because they are just so good. Waterproof, bright and affordable. You see, I'm lighting one right now and it can be charged via USB-C or using the wireless charging capability. And it will be a good companion for my new Olympus EP7 camera for those night selfies. Next are these lovely leather gloves. And you know it's cold in the winter and I don't want to leave my frosted broken fingers next to your Christmas tree, do I? Mm -mm, no, I don't. But because I got a new camera, I need a pair of gloves that are not only warm, but also photo friendly. And these Coupe photo gloves are just great. And you see, I can flip the gloves back and expose my fingers. Ah, yeah, magic, magic. Uh, but better still, they are touch compatible. So I can use my cell phone to call my wife, the Mother Christmas, 
before she gets angry. I'm telling you, I have cold hands all the time. So besides the glove, I got this, a new electric hand warmer that can double as a power bank that can charge my camera and my new flying camera drone. And it's hot and lasts for hours too because of its high capacity battery. And finally, bags. Oh yes, Father Christmas loves bags. And I have two that I recently got and they both serve different purposes. And first is this beautiful Billingham Mini Inventor that you can also see that Jimmy got one too, right? <laughs> A bag that's never break and probably outlasts me. But this lovely blue is a good contrast to my red outfit and a good size for my new camera too. A great bag when I take Mother Christmas out shopping and dinner. Smart and functional. Second is this, the new Low Pro Photo Sport Pro. Well, this bag is perfect for me to carry presents and my camera gear when I'm out delivery. And look, it has a lot of space absolutely tons of space and even a separate compartment for my new EP7 and my flying Mavic 3 cameras and brilliant just the perfect storage for everything and yes it is ultra comfortable because of this really thick shoulder and waist straps and also it is white yes it is white just the right color and matching the red outfit again I do have a bonus gear here that I got because, you know, I'm so inspired by all these cool looking YouTube videos. So uh, yeah, I want to set up my own Father Christmas channel too. <laughs> so I got myself this, the Jiyun Weibo 2. Well, it fits my EP7 and lenses so I can capture some awesome looking good videos to impress Father Christmas and maybe some of you too. So this is my Christmas list. Uh, for myself, but if you are interested in some or all of this stuff, I have some affiliate links for Jimmy in the video description so you can support his channel. But even if you don't want to buy anything, you can always buy him some coffees or something like that. Bravo! Well, let's make him a good Christmas. I guess I'll shut up and I'll see you all again next year. Ho, ho, ho! So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this Christmas special and it's becoming my yearly tradition now. So like I will just basically summarize the stuff that I got personally and also some of the stuff that I review within the year. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you some of my favorites really. Um, yeah, I did it last year. I'm doing it this year. So I'm definitely going to continue this tradition for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it though and uh, it's all a bit of fun and they're just more like a summary for some of the stuff that I think is pretty cool in uh, 2021 this year and uh, some of the stuff is brand new and uh, literally just came out like the uh, like the bag here this uh, this low pro uh, photo sport pro is pretty amazing and I'm gonna do a proper uh, in-depth look on these things once I use it a few more uh, uh, times you know at the moment because I'm not really traveling so it's really hard for me to look at this but you know uh, from the overall inspections and uh, comparing to the other bags that I have uh, this is definitely something that I think is really really special that's why I want to show you here as more like a first look uh, but it is really good a lot of space if you're a hiker if you're outdoor photographers you're adventurers uh, this bag would basically do it all for you um, that's really really cool it's not technically a camera camera bag because uh, 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 you know it doesn't fill up uh, with all the lenses that you have it has a minimal compartment but you know it has a lot of space for your personal belongings which is a must for survival when you're out in the wild right so it's not just about gear uh, but that's cool and other things that i like obviously obviously that you will see some videos later will be my mavic uh the mavic 3 uh, because it's a brand new four third camera right remember you know it's a drone that has a four third sensor so this is really like to me it's amazing right you know in this channel is all about Michael Forther, so this will be more like a Michael Forther equivalent, but just flying in the air instead. So you can take some really cool aerial shot with the Forther sensor, and uh, this is something that I believe uh, uh, you know can 
basically replaced a lot of my commercial drones that I use for other projects. Uh, I, you know, I still love my Mini 2 because that is just amazing. Uh, uh, you know, that is so small and light, basic, I can fly anywhere without any restriction. Unlike the Mavic 3, you know, you do need uh, some qualifications and uh, so the A2 certifications uh, for you to fly closer to, um, to subjects and other things. Uh, but anyway, this is another topic for another day. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy this and uh, I've got other things to show you maybe perhaps later and uh, I hope you guys enjoy my 20 millimeters uh, lens review as well because uh, I personally think that's a fantastic lens uh, and also another video that you will see soon enough will be the uh, the full fish eyes uh, uh, review and also have another special lens coming uh, which actually at the time of making this video it arrived yesterday so uh, I will be opening uh, later and just to uh, check out what it is you will see some of the preview pictures of it uh, in my show shows in my instagram so remember to follow me there so you can see all the latest gear snapshots and you can see what it looks like uh, so that's really really awesome anyway i chat too much now it's christmas time so i wish you all nothing but the best and enjoy this festive season uh, enjoy your friends and family gatherings give them a big hug uh, have lots lots of drinks and and food and just be happy go and shoot some more and uh yeah have a lovely break until next time i'll see you soon bye for now